to here is 8.8 nautical miles. Next thing to do is to get the relative speed. How do you get the relative speed? Are you going to measure this one? Yes, of course. So this one should be measured. So you measure this one from R to M. Okay, that is 2. Okay, so that is 2. Now, that is distance. Okay, you are going to get the speed. So what will you do? Using DST again. To get speed. Therefore, speed equals distance divided by time. No, 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 sir. Remember, this is distance 2 miles. You cannot use 2 miles. So what will you do? You transform 2 miles into speed. How? 2 miles divided by time. Hey, asa mo ng time. You can get the time. 1340 to 1346. So that is a 6 minutes travel from this point to this point. 6 minutes travel. Divided by 6 minutes. But gentlemen, you cannot use 6 minutes because the unit for speed is nuts. So we will convert 6 minutes into hours. Or what we call 6 minutes rule. For every 60 minutes, there are 10 6 minutes. For every 1 hour, there are 10 6 minutes. Therefore, that is 0.1. Okay? How did you know, sir? 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, and then uh, 54, and then 60. So when we say 12 minutes rule, that is 0.2. When we say 18.3, when we say 24.4, when we say 6 minutes, we say 0.1. So, 2 divided by 0.1. How much? Therefore, the relative speed is 20 knots. The relative speed from R to M is 20 knots. And the relative distance from M to this point is 8.8 .8 nautical miles. So we are now ready to get the steaming time from here to here. How? 8.8 .8 divided by 20 knots. So how much is 8.8 .8 divided by 20 knots? So 8 decimal 8 divided by 20 equals 4.44 shift degrees. That is just 26 minutes. That is 26 minutes. Okay. So, from this point to the CPA position is 26 minutes. So, what will we do with 26 minutes? If the time at M is 13.46, we add. So, 13.46. So, how much is that? 12. And this one? 7, 7, and then this one is 13, and then, yes, it will become 14, 12. So therefore, our TCPA is 14 hours and 12 minutes, that is the time when the vessel is closest to you. Your vessel will reach this position at 14, 12. It will reach at that position at 1412. Okay, I repeat, this vessel will reach that position at 1412. You have barely how many minutes? Around 26 minutes for you to think. If you will not think, your captain will be scolding you 
after 26 minutes. Because why? Because that vessel, you are violating the company policy. The company policy is three months. It should, be, it should not be less than three months. You are around 2.3. So when the, the, the moment when the captain comes on the bridge and he sees on the ARPA that the CPA is 2.3, he will be scolding you. 26 minutes later now. Okay. Now, so after this one, we will use rules of the road. Okay? We will use the company policy. We will apply rules of the road. What is this? This is what we call crossing situation. Rule 15. I repeat, what situation is this? This is cool reg rule 15. Crossing situation. Our own vessel here is the giveaway. This is the giveaway. And this is the stand on vessel. The target is a stand on while we are the giveaway. We will be the one to alter our course to starboard, passing her astern. This vessel will pass astern so that you can achieve a three mile, a minimum three mile CPA. So, what will we do? First, let us erase these things. No? Okay. Alright. Tantangan na nako ha. Okay na? Alright. Okay. 